Hello, and welcome back to Redirecting. Uh, one of my viewers uh, by the name of Leonard wanted me to talk about the incident that happened at the Exxon gas station in Greensboro, North Carolina. I must say, um, I saw the story the other day. I did not see the video of the actual um, impact from the vehicle. I didn't see that part. I just saw uh, someone reporting on it. So I didn't have all of the details in its rawness. And so after looking at the video family, it is very disturbing. Very disturbing indeed um, what these two women did with their vehicle, uh, taking the life of one young lady and I believe four or five others have were hit as well. And uh, some of them are in critical condition, life-threatening injuries. And I was, I was really surprised that not more people were uh, killed right there at that moment because the impact was great and uh, she came back around again. And so um, looking at the whole situation, there was definitely some rage built up inside. And um, I believe the young woman who lost her life knew these women. And one thing that I wanted to talk about in this, as a matter of fact, I'm going to show um, a little bit of footage, not the actual um, hit hitting with the vehicle. I'm going to leave that part off. It's just really, um, really difficult to watch. If I remember, I'll leave a link in the description area uh, to another video that does have that. But um, <clears throat> anyway, um, here is this news footage. I'm talking about the story and uh, you will see some raw emotion shared by uh, the family members of both the deceased and uh, the suspects. I will roll the video and be right back. Two women in Greensboro are accused of intentionally ramming a group of people with a car at a gas station, killing one of them. 28-year-old Miranda Watlington and 27-year-old Fanna Felton are in jail. They are charged with first-degree murder and five counts of attempted first-degree murder each. Police say just after three this morning, Watlington and Felton crashed their car into a group of people at the Exxon gas station on Westgate City Boulevard. That's just off I-40 and West Meadowview Road. One of the people hit, Zaniel Tucker, died from her injuries at the scene. Five other people were also hit. Three of them are in critical condition at the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The husband of someone hit describes the scene. Last night after we came from the club downtown, we just stopped here at the gas station, you know, get some cigarettes and a scuffle broke out. And one thing led to another and out of nowhere, a car comes flying through, mowing down everybody in its path. I don't know why, why would you, you, A witness tells us this happened after two groups of people got into a fight. This is Mary J. Chapman, mother of accused murderer Miranda Watlington. This is Paula Edmondson, mother of accused murderer Fene Felton. They both want to say the same thing. We need to stop the violence towards one another. Let's stop the violence, man. Stop the balance, learn and love one another. <laughs> Both of their daughters are accused of using their car as a weapon after a fight, pummeling into a crowd of six at an Exxon gas station, killing 30-year-old Zanelle Tucker and injuring five others. I'm just so sorry. My condolences to the Tucker family <laughs> and to everybody else. I'm so, so sorry. Lord knows I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And please forgive me. Watlington and Felton appeared in court Monday. Chapman said at the courthouse she was able to talk to victim Zanelle Tucker's family, a family she assumed would be full of hatred toward her. But she says they not only spoke, they hugged. We, we, we embraced each other, we cried together, and we just, we loved on each other, you know. Chapman and Edmondson set up a memorial of flowers and balloons at the Exxon gas station where many lives were forever changed. My condolences for all this tragedy that's went on I heard this weekend. Chapman whispers her wish for peace. Oh God, is it. Over and over again. Peace. 
Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> peace. Peace, peace. Peace. It's out. That's out. That's out. <laughs> Both mothers couldn't comment on the specifics of the case because their lawyers advised them not to. Their daughters are back in court November 14th. Now, as you've heard, uh, this is a very, very tragic situation all around. Um, the young woman lost her life and others are injured with life-threatening injuries from this impact. The impact was so hard. You have to ask yourself what was on these women's minds when they were doing this to people that they just were having an, a, a disagreement with, an argument with. What would drive you to that point where you're willing to take someone's life? And unfortunately, many of you don't want to hear the real answer. There is a real answer. A lot of people are so subject to demonic suggestion, infiltration, or control that they will allow themselves to cross that threshold of normalcy and just dealing with something, you know, a verbal altercation, leaving it at, th leaving it at that, they will allow themselves to cross over and take things much further. In this case, they took it too far. This young woman is dead having lost her life at the hands of someone who knew her. And when I saw the parents of both of the women, one thing that I was happy to see was that they were not making excuses for their daughters. I haven't seen that so far. I have not seen them making excuses for their daughters. But these women were crying out. What The one woman, she was so distraught by all of this and even talked about how the mother or the family of the, the victim who lost her life, they were crying together, consoling one another. And that is, that was a really good thing to see. It was a breath of fresh air to see that they were consoling one another, trying to help each other through this pain and that one wasn't attacking the other and that the mothers of the girls who, or the women who did this heinous, detestable act were not trying to justify or trying to ask for leniency on their daughters. They weren't trying to gloss over anything. They were just showing their raw emotions. And I really felt that when the mother was asking for peace, she was asking for peace. Right now we are a people that are in need of peace and shalom. <clears throat> As a whole, this is something we lack in our communities. And we definitely need this. We need to pray for peace. Listen, family, I don't know what your prayer life is like. I don't know what you say to the Most High or what your relationship is like. But we all need to draw closer and more nigh to him we need our father like the one minister said in the where the minister stated that we need our father to come see about us he says we need you to come and see about us because things are happening and we are we are helpless without you you see he called on the most high and he said look father we need you to come and see about us that is our only recourse, and absolutely, yes, it is. But we need to actually move on that. We don't need to sit on this. We need to actually move in that direction and call on our Father with a sincere heart. Because there are dark days ahead, family. It's not just um, Gentiles taking our people out of here. But as you see in the case of this story here, it's our own people as well. These women... And I don't mean to be insulting to their their mom or their family um, because they are hurting as well. And it, it, that was very clear from the video. But those two women are ruthless. That was a ruthless act. 
and the Most High is going to deal with them on that ruthless act, something entered into their minds, into their persons, to allow that much rage to build up to where they didn't just knock these people down with their vehicle. They zoomed through at a high speed. Almost, it looks like it was an intent to kill there. So something entered into their minds to cause them to go that far. These ruthless women took someone else's life and changed other lives and didn't even think twice about it. And they look very cold in their mug shots. What I find interesting is sometimes you'll see people even in their mug shots, they will have a look of remorse on their faces as if, why did I do that? But in the case of these women, I did not see that. I did not see remorse on their faces. They looked as if something had entered in. It is what it is, family. To the family of those women, I pray that you can find some type of peace in your heart as you were calling for and asking for. But understand the truth must be told regardless. This is not meant to be insulting or hurting to anyone. It is my desire that our people would achieve peace and shalom by repenting and turning from our wicked ways. Glossing over things, sugarcoating things has never helped. All of this coddling that we've done and people have done over the years and the decades has gotten us nowhere. It is time for us to put our spiritual foot down and demand that our people behave or be judged. The scripture tells us that we are to judge simple matters among us. So what do you think about greater matters? The reason why we are being judged by other nations, the reason why their their system is allowed to put a foot on our necks because we won't judge. The scripture talks about that a whole lot. And our people have a total misunderstanding about judging. They say that you can't judge me. But they don't really understand the scripture. It says, um, those that are spiritual judges all matters. And it says, know ye not that ye shall judge the nations. And then even the incident that happened um, in one of the churches, Paul said, you people should have judged this situation. You should have put this man out of here with this wickedness. He said, you should have judged this. But because our people are not judging, the Most High is allowing judgment. And for that, we must cry out for forgiveness. And we must do what we have to do. It is time to redirect family and correct the error that is among us. With that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.